So Benny worked at the NSA for more than 30 years. He was a famous and highly regarded employee there, but he resigned in 2001, saying the agency was building illegal mass surveillance networks. He says that President Trump almost certainly has been spied on by the government, was being spied on, and probably for a long time. Bill Benny joins us now. Bill, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, now, well, you, as, as me, I Tucker. just said in my intro, you spent 30 years there. You're not someone who's speculating, and you believe it's entirely possible that the president was, in fact, spied on? Yes, in fact, uh, they're taking in fundamentally the entire fiber network inside the United States and collecting all that data and storing it in, in a program for the, uh, they call it it's Stellar Wind is the name for their program. Uh, that's the domestic collection of data on U.S. citizens, U.S. citizens to other U.S. citizens, everything we're doing. Uh, phone calls, emails, and then financial transactions, uh, credit cards, things like that. Yeah, all of it. So if you didn't, if you found someone objectionable or dangerous, the temptation would be profound to locate information on that person and perhaps misuse it. Would it not be? Yes. Uh, and for, for example, inside NSA, they had a program called, they called Love Int. That's where the analysts in NSA looked into that data to find out if their lovers were cheating on them. That, that's the extent of the data collection that NSA is doing. But I mean, I, I grew up believing that NSA was not allowed to collect data on Americans. It was supposed to be outwardly focused on our foreign enemies. And you're saying that that's been perverted for many years. Yes, since 2001. So what do you make of considering uh, what you just said is that the NSA has all the information. So presumably they could prove or disprove the claims about Russian tampering in this election. They could prove or disprove Trump's tweet about being spied upon. Why wouldn't they? That's, uh, well, that, that would get into the extent of which they've penetrated the network inside the United States. There's another program going on here that not too many people are talking about. They're not even addressing. I think you were trying to get at it uh, with your previous guest. Uh, inside NSA, there's a set of people who are, and we got this from another NSA whistleblower who w witnessed some of this. They're inside there, they're targeting and looking at all the members of the Supreme Court, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Congress, both House and Senate, as well as the White House. And all of this data is there at, inside NSA in a small group where they're looking at it. Uh, and the idea is to see what, what people have power over you are going to, what they think what they think you should be doing or what they're planning to do uh, to you, your budget or whatever, so you can try to counteract it before it actually happens. I mean, that's just East German. And by the way, that's, that's got yes. to be illegal. Yeah. I do not believe that that is legal. The I, oversight committees. No, it isn't. No, right. It's a are violation. supposed no. to be preventing that stuff. And I remember having a conversation with the former Republican chairman of the oversight mm -hmm. committee, Mike Rogers, and saying this is a big deal and getting an answer in effect, well, you know, terrorism. That doesn't sound like this well, has anything a, to do with terrorism. No, this bulk acquisition, by the way, is inhibiting their ability to detect terrorist threats in advance so they can't stop them. So people get killed as a result, which means, you know, they pick up the pieces and clean up the blood after the attack. That's what's been going on. I mean, they've consistently failed. When Alexander said he'd stop, they'd stop 54 uh, attacks and he was challenged to produce the evidence to prove that, he failed on every count. So, but the NSA is not, this is my last question, but, and it's an obvious one, the NSA is not its own country. 